Good morning. <laughs> We're so happy that you're here. We eat daily vlogs, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. We're making pancakes today in this cute little Mickey Mouse skillet. You want some more chocolate chips? Um, Jamesy woke up at 5.45 this morning because he stayed asleep after his appointment yesterday. Um, and so everything is kind of happening early today. So we're gonna do pancakes for lunch. I'll link the plant-based um, recipe that I used below. technique cooking it on one side and then flipping it to cook on a normal pan for the other side okay this is magic so I was showing you my technique right do one side the Mickey face and then the other side just like on a flat pan and the chocolate chip fell perfectly where Mickey's nose would be I'm like how did that happen I just put, I just poured the, the batter in there without thinking. This is, <laughs> this is our setup this morning. Jamesy, did I just give that to you without a fork? That's silly. Jamesy, look at this Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so good. Oh gosh, she's so yummy. <laughs> It is beautiful out. It is so sunny. There is not a cloud. It is chilly, but not as cold as it's been. And we might have to go on a walk later. It is so nice. I'm going to the eye doctor. I actually have two appointments today. I'm seeing the dermatologist a little bit later, um, but the eye doctor squeezed me in. So fingers crossed that can give me like contacts of my prescription without the astigmatism. I don't know, they said that like that's what made it hard. Um, I do have a really strong um, prescription, but I just talked to the person like at the desk and maybe the doctor will say, I can take a sample just to like get through these next few days while we order contacts. So I'm hoping that and maybe they can help me um, fix my, like give me a little screw and get my um, bow the arm of my glasses back on. We have a new intriguing cartoon to watch. There's like a Halloween themed Shrek cartoon episodes that are fairly long. They're like 30 minutes long. And James is entranced. I'm not sure if we said yesterday that we did ask our pediatrician about his naps because he's been fighting us on his nap during the day. And she was like, honestly, as long as he's getting like quiet time or like a, a rest, then that's good. As long as it's not detrimental to his nighttime sleep. So we're going in and doing like attempting to get him to sleep for an hour. And sometimes he falls asleep. Most of the time the past two weeks he hasn't been, but he's been resting. Teddy though, he is destroying a nap today. He's been, it's in an hour and a half. Usually he's like a 40 minute -er at a time, every like two hours. Um, this is an hour and a half. So he's probably grown or about to pop some more teeth or something. Sarah's going to the optometrist to get a, an appointment and then order some new contacts because she done buster her last right eyes. She's got a lot going on in her eyeballs. So like her, her contacts are, oh, I just dropped the spoon in the soup for James, which is the worst. The absolute worst when you drop the spoon in the soup. doctor with contacts they're like slightly off but they're like this this will just get you by and then I got a year supply that are gonna be sent straight to my house I will not even have to go back this this all transpired so quickly yesterday morning was when I ripped the contact I didn't even have like my yearly exam scheduled um, and so 
this is great. This was like unintentionally super productive. So while we were in Disney, we went to Japan Pavilion and got Grant a bunch of snacks. Oh my God. We kept some for us because Peter went like to town and was like, what? what? We can enjoy some too. This is, I don't know if I'm gonna make it for real or <laughs> James is just gonna eat the bits and pieces. Okay, so we just mixed this ice cream. Oh gosh, we made mess. James, you just eaten wafers. <laughs> Because why not? The wafers are really good. Um, I'm gonna add some sprinkles in. We're just gonna eat this with a spoon. Kind of anticlimactic, if you ask me. A boo doo, a doo doo, a dee 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 doo doo, a doo doo, da doo da, da dee da dee da dee. It is the sweetest. The little. Make your own ice cream from Japan. Yes, it's pretty, pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Daddy's making some popcorn. And I'm gonna have to go again soon. Excuse me, ouchies. Um, because I actually have a dermatologist appointment this evening. If you are new here, or if you just need a friendly reminder, Teddy just kissed my head. Oh gosh, he gonna get me. Mwah, mwah. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. He's so sweet. Every six months I go to the dermatologist to get like a full body skin check. Um, that is because my family history, my dad passed away from melanoma cancer. Holy smokes, like a long time ago. It's crazy how long it's been now, 2012. Um, and February is actually the anniversary of him passing away, February 27th. So this month is always kind of heavy, but also um, all the better reason to remind you to even if you don't have a family history if you have no reason to just like go get your skin checked it's like such an important piece of our body it's our largest organ um and yeah you never know you know what what a doctor might say that was like my childhood popcorn bowl <laughs> my childhood popcorn bowl it smells tasty um, you just never know what could be going on. So, um, yeah, I get my skin checked, make sure everything looks good. Sometimes, sometimes I'll have something removed or sometimes I'll get something checked. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Usually it's pretty chill, but it's just every six months I like to share that I'm going and to remind you to just think about going, make an appointment. Um, Find a doctor and get your get your skin checked. Change of plan. I'm taking these guys. We're gonna drop mom off at the doctor, and then we're gonna go shopping at Mariano's. All right, we made it in the store with two babies that are awake. They were they were getting ready to drop. I was very nervous that they were gonna fall asleep because he did not nap. So now that we're in, we're in. Hey, Peter. These are cotton candy skies. Okay, I'm walking over to Mariano's to meet up with the boys to grocery shop. My appointment went well. I didn't have to get anything removed. Everything cleared out. They say I could go every year, um, like just once a year, but my nervous heart just likes the every six months. Um, but also, like, if, I, if I'm ever concerned, I can just call and go in. It doesn't, I don't have to wait until that mark. Um, but it was really thorough. She even, like, made me take my, my braid out and, like, looked through my hair. It was a, it was a good appointment. Um, and I'll be going back in August. found us and we're just like stalling we just like keep going like five feet in this like okay. international oh, yeah, aisle really nice. and just want to look at every single item on every single shelf james i don't think we said it but james had a little run-in with his bed he has a goose egg on his forehead and he stayed awake i'm sure he's gonna fall asleep in a quick drive home but we are getting ready to check out all right we are done sarah actually ran downstairs to see what kind of sushi they have made on the first floor because we only went to the second. It was more than, more groceries than I expected we'd get, but less 
cost than I expected. I've never really shopped at Mariano's before. Oh, come on. That's drama. Mom was, was had a hankering for some Kraft mac and cheese, so we got some. Who is ready for a very quick Mariano's haul? So these were actually last minute buys from Jewel after we got home. These were on sale for $1.99. They must have ordered too many. And Peter got butter. I don't remember the last time I had Kraft mac and cheese. And it's just such like a comfort food for me. And we were gonna just use what we had at home. And Peter's like, but if you're like really craving it, let's just get the real deal. Um, and it was worth it. So we have that and we actually had a little bit of sushi from Mariano's. We had that. Um, Peter and I both have had like that pitch black and the energy drinks and we're truly just like raining in it. And I know we've said it a gazillion times, but I do think every time we get a little bit closer to like being, you know, fully invested in our, you know, decision to, to keep up with our activity and to, try to like, basically our, our goal is to limit processed foods. We're not doing like Whole30 or anything like that. And I know, I know I say that a lot, but I just want it to be out there that we truly are, like we are being intentional. And even though we, we are so, so far from like hitting our goals, like this, like this feels really good. Like where we are with our routine and where we are mentally, it feels good. And so, that is, that's good for us. Oh, he got two of these. <laughs> All right, um, really quick, we have some blueberries, some guacamole, tomatoes. A lot of this is produce, kind of in the back. Um, veggie broth, this is also from Jewel, a bit of lemonade. I'm kicking, having pop in the house, and energy drinks. I have a bunch of tea that I love and is really good, and I just think that I can always make things a little bit fancier with some lemonade so we got this fresh squeezed juice for that we have zucchinis we have cucumbers we have apples and tomatoes what do we got here um some refried beans some diced jalapenos what are you some crushed tomatoes we have tofu pico de gallo and avocado i got these two little packages of seasoning these will make cooking at home super yummy, but also like not as like have to put in as much effort. And so it's kind of like a nice happy medium there. Um, some hummus, corn tortillas, kombucha. I'm trying their brand. We'll see if I like it. Peter got some Christmas wine on sale. Mushrooms, broccoli, flour tortillas, peppers, spinach, a little stir fry kit. Um, Two different type, types of pasta. There are you? Rice noodles. This little frozen skillet. Again, like having quick things at the ready so that if we're not motivated to cook, we still can cook easier things at home that are still, you know, yummy and nutritious and on our on our wavelength. This little coleslaw bag, Brussels sprouts, romaine hearts plant-based yogurt, some black beans, some diced tomatoes, honey roasted almonds, tomato paste, this margarine garlic spread we've had before, super, super yummy, strawberries, and breakfast little cookies like Mariano's brand um, Biscoff. Is that? No, not Biscoff. Uh, Belvita. And then this chorizo plant-based sausage. I, I'm gonna do taste tests and see if Trader Joe's is truly superior. And then peanut butter, I think that's all. I know just before Christmas, we did a haul from Trader Joe's that we wanted to compare the price to Aldi, and I still wanna do that. I still have that list. This was somewhat comparable of a list, a bit more. Um, and it was kind of right on track with the prices at Trader Joe's. If you've ever been to Mariano's, it's a little bit like higher end groceries, like a little bit more specialized. Like there's a whole cheese section, a whole like olive bar, like, and then like the first floor is like all hot foods. Like it is more of like a grocery 
experience and I would say shopping like not going up and down the aisles would be more cost effective there so they have really great deals especially if you're like a card member which is free we joined tonight and we saved $15 on the spot um, so yeah if you have ever gone to Mariano's it's a little bit overwhelming because there's like so much good stuff and you just want to buy everything and so I think we did a good job of reining it in um, but also trying some new things and sticking to our new like the idea I have for our grocery shopping so basically Mondays I cook a bigger meal um, typically something on a tortilla some sort of taco and then Tuesday leftovers we can make a bowl of some sort and then on Wednesdays I've been making some sort of like veggie stir fry in a sauce with rice um, and then again leftovers on Thursday and then Friday making like yummy nutritional bowls um, which is like it's kind of like loose all of it um, it gives me a good a good like structure to base things off of but it's not like we're eating the same thing every week and then that helps me be motivated to cook because it's not an overwhelming task i have been eating um yogurt for my like bigger breakfast i put in oatmeal and i put in coconut and honey and fruit and so those are those yogurts are for me um peter has done the spinach wraps for his lunches which are like a tortilla and spinach and hummus and like veggies um and so we're gonna do a better job at trying to prep for those things so that again we remember um that we have these things ready in our pantry and so i think one of these nights we are going to like chop up peppers so that they're just at the ready to snack on same thing with like cucumbers and things like that um and then i also wanted to point out we i i just want to have like super easy things at the ready so like even chopping vegetables doesn't have to become an overwhelming task i know the perks of you know cooking from a whole fruit or vegetable um but on nights where i'd rather like use something that's pre-chopped or frozen to like not order out or you know something of that nature i think that that was like another thing while we were shopping that i wanted to make sure that we were prepared for same thing with like having just like pasta we love a good simple pasta and um yeah that's that's another thing that like i try to always have in in our cabinets so that was kind of a long-winded explanation um but this is like the third time we've grocery shopped with this um dinner routine in mind and i would say it was pretty successful i do still want to see how much it would cost at aldi um but that'll be for another day i had a donut just before we do this tomorrow's friday oh my gosh what a weird weird week so weird we did not get a good night's sleep last night we got it collectively think. Like four hours yeah we actually slept on the couch because our baby monitors like service decided to do maintenance in the middle of the night so we couldn't we weren't gonna be able to hear the boys and the baby that wakes up in the middle of the night it was something and then they woke up and then yeah. we just slept in the room with them so. yeah and it's before 11 p.m so this will be good Tomorrow's Friday, but it is supposed to be super cold here. Yeah. Like the low is zero, which means the wind chill will probably be like negative 10. So we're gonna have to snuggle up and cozy on the couch. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>